Well, we're joined by a Steelers fan. We can ask him right now. He's got a huge show coming to Star Lake on Saturday, July 13th. The tickets go on sale tomorrow. There's also a VIP experience to tell you about on his website. Party Gras 2.0. Guys like Chris Jansen, Don Felder, special appearances by D. Snyder, Lou Graham, and the headliner joins us on the fan hotline right now. The immortal, the unbelievable, Brett Michaels is with us here. Hello. On 93.7 The Fan. Hello, Brett. You're back Hello, in Pittsburgh, my Brett. You, you got me fired up. I'm ready. I'm like, let's go Steelers. Here <laughs> Brett, we go. Brett, you ever date a Browns fan? I, I believe I believe I have dated a Browns fan. Um, I may have dated a Ravens fan and possibly a Bengals fan. But then I found true love by going straight back to a Yinzer. You got to have Yinzer love. Now, did you find her on the uh, on the on the the dating show that you did? Yes, yes. We we were. Uh, I am a, a you know a rocker. Uh, I'm an equal opportunity rocker for the dating show, okay. and it, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. But you know what? It was it brought some great tension to the show, which was amazing. <laughs> now, is Brett Michaels, where he's at in life right now, still still celebrating Valentine's Day? Still getting after it on uh, Valentine's Day? Is uh, it absolutely. Romantic? Yeah? Absolutely. I love Valentine's Day. It's it's a good day. Uh, and uh, enjoyed it yesterday. Uh, it was it was awesome. Now, what does Brett Michaels do? Low-key or still roll out the red, the rose petals and everything else? It's a little of both. I, I like I like still throwing. You got to have the rose petals. It's it's like uh, you know it's it makes it good. Uh, you you and then and then of course I throw in the the pure Butler Pennsylvania in me. <laughs> also uh, got out. Are you ready for this? Electric go pads. I, I want to make it better than that and say they were Harley's, but it was electric go pads <laughs> and then. We raced around for uh, for for um, favors later. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, who won? <laughs> uh, it, I don't think you, there are any losers in that race. Oh, no given what was at stake, I think everybody wins. <laughs> Let's go. Score there's, was like nine to six, no, six to nine, something like that. Who knows? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's Brett. no losers. There's no. I bet the head. I bet the entire game on the fact that you can't lose either way. Nice. Hey, Brett, so you've got the tour coming in July, and, you know, you come through town, everyone's going to be all obviously very uh, Steelers patriotic. You have a very uh, close connection to the Steelers who's going to be involved with this show, right? Introducing you. Absolutely. So, first of all, uh, um, I'm a Steeler diehard from birth. It's every member of my family. It's just been passed down. It's in the blood. I think Mike Tomlin is a great coach, a great coach. I think he's a player's coach. He he brings out greatness in our players. Cam got NFL Man of the Year. You know, that's amazing, doing great things for the city. But I'm a believer, and I say this uh, as, you know, as a guy who um, his son, Mason, right? So this is how it came together. He's a great musician, has a lot of great, great music, a lot of EDM, a lot of great sounds, and he's going to open up the intro to my show. Terrible towels are a must. We're going to be, we're going to be flying them everywhere, uh, and like last year, we're going to make this an absolute celebration of the fans, the bands, and the music. And to have, again, I say this, uh, Mike's son Mason, uh, incredible. And joining us, it's going to be awesome on that stage. We're going to rock. But what this is about is I created it to be a festival that's a celebration, again, of the fans, all the bands, no egos, uh, the making the music great. We've got uh, all kind of – it's like a Mardi Gras. It's Party Gras, Mardi Gras. We're handing out beads to everybody when they come through the building. And my, all my relatives bring out the uh, – they bring out the pizza oven. We made food for a lot of fans and the local crew, and we just make it a good day in everyone's life. Brad, I'm going to ask you the first tough question of this interview. Who do you want to be the Steelers quarterback next year? That's the toughest question. Here's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to defer to Mike, right? I think Mason did a great job. I think Kenny, Kenny's got the skills. I think Kenny's going to step up, be, I hope, be an absolute leader. I mean, we need to discuss this, right? But I'm going to defer to Mike on this and the team and the new offensive coordinator. Are you um, excited about and that? I know Big Artie yeah, I, Smith. 
Yep, came in from Atlanta Falcons, if I'm not crazy. And his dad uh, owns FedEx. He's worth almost $6 billion, Brett. Did so he's not that? doing it for the money. The man is all about ball. <laughs> I think he's going to bring it. I, th- I, I got to believe, uh, you know, these decisions are made. It, 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 I think they're great decisions. Again, I'm, I get fired up because I love talking all sports. I'm going to get to raise the Jolly Roger this year. Really? Uh, at the opening of for the Pirates. I'm, I'm raising that Jolly Roger. I'm going to throw baseball on the field. If you ever have a chance, me and McCutcheon, you got to watch us throwing ball. Then they throw me in the batter's cage. I, I, I knock a couple around the park pretty good. Um, Let's just go. throwing it out there. All right. And uh, we're, so we're going to throw some baseball with the fans and then raise that jolly rock. Brett, we can, we can judge how you're throwing it around. Andrew, uh, who's the first voice you heard here once we had you on the air, he threw out a first pitch in a Pirates game last year. So and I did the second game, Brett. You're doing opening yeah. day. I did game number he two. Was praised so for I'll the, follow you next year. He was praised for the late movement on his first pitch. Uh, pitcher, I think it was Ronzi Contreras caught it, he right? He said he had a lot of late left-handed movement. So you've got to bring it to that level, Brett. I'm bringing it. That now the, the, the gauntlet has been dropped. Yes, now it it's game on. All right, so the tickets go on sale tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp, brettmichaels.com. And then if you want to get the VIP meet and greet, and you should, uh, shop brettmichaels.com. He is Butler's own. He's one of the iconic rock stars of all time, and we can't wait to see him back in Pittsburgh for opening day and then his concert in July, Brett Michaels. Brett, thanks for thanks, coming Brett. out with us, man. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you. Can't wait to be back in the Berg. And, uh, and here we go, Stillers. Here we go. There you go. Brett Michaels. Thanks, Brett.